Here, since the fall of Afghanistan, as some of the last helicopters were leaving Kabul, the Taliban was marching in, taking over the final portion of the country it needed for total control. Well, since then, thousands of Afghan people have found new lives here in Georgia. CBS 46's Don Shipman spoke with one of them today. So, Don, how are they doing a year later? After I Many of them are doing well. They're actually just now settling in to their new homes here in Georgia. And they tell me that they're kind of with mixed emotions today because they feel hopeful for their future. But at the same time, they worry every day about the family members they left behind. We were hopeless and we were like almost ready to die. Three days of chaos and trauma, a harrowing escape Moeen Amini and his family will never forget. They were like stopping us at each checkpoints and asking us who you are and what are you doing, what documents you have. So we were like, I don't know, should I carry these documents with myself or should I throw it out cell? Amini describing what it was like when he and his family tried over and over again to escape Afghanistan. They eventually made it safely inside the gates of Kabul airport, but not his entire family. So on this one year anniversary, he's left with mixed emotions. So it is really like, you know, I don't have words. What to say, what to celebrate. You know, either I should celebrate our black day or either I should celebrate our Independence Day. Mini and his family are among more than 1,700 Afghan refugees that eventually landed here in Georgia. Many of them showed up with just the clothes on their backs. Members of the Or Hadash Synagogue in Sandy Springs helped to find them a home. His family arrived and were placed in an apartment in Stone Mountain, but it was totally unfurnished. So we were given two days to scramble to reach out through social media, our congregation. Today, Amini has a job. He's able to provide for his family, help raise his nephews whose parents weren't able to escape. He says he's hopeful again. I really don't have the words how to say appreciated, how to say thanks to the government and the people and the community over here. So what happens next for these refugees? Well, they want permanent residency here in the U.S. And right now there is new legislation in Congress that will help to speed up that process. On the CBS 46 News app and on our website, I'll outline how you can help. For now, though, reporting live here in Midtown, Don Shipman, CBS 46 News.